Good afternoon, everyone. Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com and boatsinhotwater.com. And we are actually in March, believe it or not. So as you guys know, and you know me, uh, as far as my YouTube channel and all of the boats that I have available, I'm probably about a month and a half behind the mark. Uh, as you guys know, I had had some health issues and now have worked through them for the second time. And this is actually going to be the first video of... 2024 although i have about eight boats coming in from 18,000 up to uh this particular boat so what we're going to do is we um take a quick look at this this one is a no brainer and in the end uh with 14.2 hours only please don't ask me why we've all had this conversation before we all know like i walk, walk through lows and i see that tool that I have to have in my life and then I never touch it ever again. And it works the same way with boats, especially with gentlemen, with occupations that just don't allow them the time to utilize uh, fishing. So, and that's generally what this center console is for. So what we're gonna do is just move forward. Out here today, we have a 2022 Sea Hunt Game Fish 25 with 14.2 hours. That's it. Break-in service has been done. And I have been through the boat inside and out. I have it out here actually at my little farmhouse uh, so I could find the time to get it done uh, because she's such a pretty boat. And um, truthfully, hire a surveyor because I am not. Hire a marine mechanic because I am not. Please note that for the record to come out and check this boat inside and out. And I don't think there's going to be any issues. I've only found cosmetically one or two little things that I'll point out as we go along. So what we're going to do right now is walk around the vessel. Now I want you guys to keep in mind there is a lean slash encumbrance on this sail, meaning that there is a loan out. Uh, it's with Truist Bank, which used to be BB&T. They're real easy to work with. So we'll want to get that taken care of. It's about an 18-day turnaround on titles. So, you know, I'll be responsible for that. And But you will leave uh, free and clear on the boat and able to go on the water with your temporary. And I am just kind of just walking through. What you see is what you get. There's no mirage here. There's no magic. It is what it is. 14.2 hours. Now, to add to that excitement, if it's exciting to you, that is it is to me, this vessel, including the trailer, has never touched salt water. It has been fresh water only for the 14.2 hours and the few launches that it has endured. Now, me, personally, I don't mind a boat that touches salt water because they're built for it. Personally, if it's me, if there's pigs and fish and mud, I'm driving the boat right in the middle of it. But for some of you out there, especially up on the lake areas, you might want a boat that you want to go fishing with that hasn't touched salt water. Well, here you go. Now, I'm walking through the trail. As you see, I got her locked up. She's a five pin, disc brake ready. Uh, should be electric surge. And I would assume, uh, as the bank releases the title, I will get an MSO for this particular VIN, spare tire. Uh, like I said, no mysteries here. The mystery here is, though, this was a special custom-built ladder up front, almost like it was a pontoon. So uh, we're looking through. Everything is new. I am going to call this boat right now like new. Okay, so let's call that for the record. Now, Lumar, uh, we have a Lumar anchorless. I have the updated sticker. And as I walk through the exterior of the vessel, as what you're looking at now, I see no nicks, no tears, no beat ups uh, up underneath. You know, maybe there might be something I'm missing. Hire a surveyor. If you're feeling like, uh, you know, I'm not showing you something here. And take a look, springs, uh, brand new, you know, they look like brand new. You're not running oil-based hubs, you're running grease hubs. 
Tires are in excellent condition. As you see, the lights are working. Please make note, these are Bennett trim tabs, not uh, Lenko, so you're running hydraulic. And there are your props. I'll have the details of prop size on the websites. As you guys can see, the drop-down ladder, LED lights. Now, I'm taking a quick look over here. Okay, I gotta find the switch why those two, I probably didn't hit the switch right. We'll double check why these higher up LEDs aren't on right now. But lower LEDs are. You guys can see there, 2022. This is a, although you see C-Star, this is Yamaha electric steering. If you take a look here, this is a titled vessel, not a documented vessel. Titled, which we did discuss, I guess we discussed it, uh, when we were talking about um, the bank. Wesco. All right, and there we go. Nothing, nothing more to report, nothing more to see here on the exterior. Uh, it's nice to have those uh, guide poles. I don't use them personally. Um, they're annoying, but you might, you know, like it. I can get the boat on, but, you know, depending on if you're at a deep ramp. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to climb up on the vessel. Well, let me get my shoes off. Me and my partner, which is my fiance, she has cleaned this boat more times than you want to know with this pollen. And I have been waiting to shoot this video, and now I'm doing it. I actually have her phone hooked up to the Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do right now real quick is we're gonna move forward to the vessel and we're gonna move very quickly from here on out. Now these guys have the backstory on the boat. There's your waist with macerator, China toilet. Hasn't been unwrapped and I'll show you that. You guys can see the side bolsters, excellent condition. Full seating arrangement up front. If I take this and move, there's your center piece right here down in here that's going to be fishing gear twist turn your two fenders they are being conveyed with the vessel i'm going to drop this back down and move forward you guys have your additional storage you don't need me to lift those hatches you know it's underneath there nothing with drainage. Eh, let's just do it for the heck of it. Oh, there you go. More storage, more drainage. Okay, moving forward. You guys can see you got the drop block for your lines. Okay, here we have our forward adjustments on our windlass. Uh, I didn't show you, but maybe I might be able to sneak around Try not to get dizzy. If you guys can see, nav lights are working, anchor light is working. I've been through every switch on the boat. Everything kicks on. Once again, call your surveyor. There's a new Lumar windlass. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick touch. Hear it? There you go. All right, working. The problem is, is most of you guys, I would say you don't need a survey, obviously. But, if you're getting a loan on the boat, they're going to require at least an insurance survey. So, there is your spur light. There is your cushions center. There are your LED, which are working. You guys can hear the stereo system working. Up in here now, just so you guys can see, I didn't take this off because I'm lazy. So um, this is actually going to, it's already set up for a Laporte cover. Those of you in the industry know Laporte is one of the top cover makers in the industry based out of Charleston. Any guy in this area with a Laporte cover wants to take care of his vessel. And that is what is going back on this boat once I'm done with this video. I'm going to pop up here real quick, which I don't think we clean, but live with it. Here's your outriggers, your antenna, and we have a Garmin closed array radar set up, which will be very helpful. Um, 
when you're out there with your twin 1243 XSV screens and your command links and so on and so forth. A moving back of the vessel as you guys can see. Cutting board. This, actually I'll show you pictures of this is cut out. Uh, my fiance actually popped this off so you can get a look at the picture of the uh, gas tank which was impressive that she did that. She's learning a lot daily. You guys can see the bilge area nice and clean. You know we have a little bit of you know 14.2 hours the boat's been sitting but I crank up the motors on one hit. Everything moved. Water pumps are working fine. Uh, like I said I won't have any issues under survey. Uh, we have a sea trial. Uh, Lemon Island is probably about 25-30 minutes from here. This is where I'm going to keep the boat for a couple of weeks. Right here you see your storage and I'm going to pull this up and you guys can just kind of see where you got. You know, I'm not a big fan of that grounding block there, but, you know, just kind of keep up on it, spray it, um, and just pay attention as you should all of your clamps and hoses. Now we get an upside look at what we're looking at here with the electric steering on the Yamaha. Um, so, there you go. Uh, that's kind of new to me, so if you're going to ask me technical questions, uh, I may not be able to answer them. All right, we're going to kind of bounce here, live well, bait well type situation. You guys see the lights are working in there. Everything works on the vessel. Right here is where you see your freshwater buildup. Not buildup, fill in. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of close this up. You know, I uh, no screw uh, drips, stainless steel, nothing like that on this vessel. The Yeti is being conveyed. Uh, with the vessel obviously like I said the seller just does not have time to use this vessel moving over to where we're gonna go diving from or if we're somewhat handicapped or having problems getting in and out of boats uh, no issues here except one and I'm gonna move you forward to that I forgot why the seller told me this happened you guys can see we got a little goober there's my finger next to it uh, you know what I wouldn't really stress over it. I'd just throw some Marine Techs over it or some Bondo. And uh, it's probably going to happen again. And the other cosmetic issue that I found on the boat with 14.2 hours, and it's really not a big deal, and I probably could clean it up myself if you notice, but it bugs me in the caulking. You guys kind of see we got a little bit of that black uh, mold in some of the spots, but some of it just wipes out with my finger. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Don't walk up to the boat expecting perfection. Now, if this goes under survey, I know due to those two things alone, we would not get a Bristol rating. But we would get above average, which is the next best thing. I know it's average doesn't sound right, but above average is the next step after that is cherry. So, I mean, I'm calling like new. Not new, but like new. Seating, no rips, no tears, no obvious deficiencies as I walk through it. You got a couple spots with kind of like a sea deck on it, you know, for grip. I mean, sea deck, you know, that's that's your choice. Me, if I'm fishing, the seat's out and staying at home with the kids uh, and any other upholstery. Get it out of the boat. Get blood on the boat and bloody it up, please, for the life of God. You got raw water, you have fresh water. Now I'm gonna move here to the, what we're gonna do on this starboard side is just take a look. Now right here, Taco, uh, basically running their standard Grand Slam outriggers, no surprise there. Also this boat has misters. Uh, you may be jumping for joy going, yay, misters. Uh, I hate the misters. You might too, they get clogged real easy and you really gotta maintain them for them to continue to work right. I don't mean to bring up negatives on a vessel, but uh, I don't wanna be the guy that also doesn't tell you where you will run into potential issues. White powder coating looks pretty good. I don't see any chips or cracks. As we can also see, the anchor light is working fine. The outriggers look good. Speakers are all working. Aft spider lights are working. Side, you have probably 
uh, what do we got? Four, six, uh, ten, twelve, almost fourteen off the top of my head where I can drop rods in and, and go get those fish. And that's what you should be doing. All right, now I'm going to pop this up right here. We got the gray, and now let's take a look here. You got a Garmin VHF man overboard, basically. Forward spreader lights, aft spreader lights, courtesy lights, windshield vent. Wait, what? What's a windshield vent? I'm gonna turn it on right now. There's your vent. I don't know if this is good or bad. Personally, me, I like to do it by myself by hand, but you know, everybody's fancy nowadays. Here are our 1243X SV screens. Here. Trip hours, 13.9, 13.7, gallons used. This has a 144-gallon capacity. I think we have a 10-gallon uh, Blackwater uh, tank for the head. And we're running trip hours, as we see there. But total hours, we got 14.2 on port, starboard, 14.0 here's I just hooked in the sonar setup you guys can obviously hear the jail audio is working um, there you go I've plugged in here and here and we're good there is our compass there is our uh, t-top lights and once again another mister now we're gonna roll down here Oh, wait, what's this? It is a joystick. So we also have joystick steering on this vessel, fly-by-wire. Uh, you know, there's your Benetrin tab operation. Also, as you guys know, it's going to give you uh, tabs up when you turn on or off the boat so you don't hurt them on the trailer. And in fact, they give you a warning about that. Make sure your tabs are up before you go on the trailer. Otherwise, you'll be a sad dude. Start and stop. Uh, on a push button and also into your steering patterns uh, with the electric Yamaha steering there you go there is also right here we're running our autopilot on our uh, command link our horn works we know the nav lights work I've clicked all bilge all the way through to the recirc pump everything kicks on and, and uh, excels the way it's supposed to no problems with the steering as it tends to be tight. As you guys can see, I'm turning all right to the right and left. We are have no delays. And because you didn't see that. And there we go. And here is our head area. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop down in here. And you guys see, I mean, I could have cleaned that, but... Uh, I'm going to take a quick look here. Nice. I mean, this is kind of dumb, I think, from my part. 14.2 hour boat. There's probably more sitting in boat parking lots, car lot, or whatever you want to call it, dealer lots. Here is going to be your battery uh, set up in here. And if you guys want to take a look in here. There we go. We're running one, two, three interstates. Everything else is tidy, neat. Uh, you know, no deterioration, no salt water deterioration. Um, and in fact, I, if you guys caught it, uh, which I'll do on the back of the boat, uh, show you the anodes, which clearly this proves this boat has not been in salt water. Um, quick note, don't forget these pop out too. Remove them when we're going fishing. I wish you could take out the bolsters, uh, but, you know, watch your hooks. All right, so now we're going to exit the vessel, and we are going to leave it at that. All right, let's drop down. You know, when you guys tell me you want to see the boat, all you got to do is watch the video. There's no brain surgery here. I can set you up with a package for your finance company, what you need to tell them. I think the only issue here that we're going to run into is price. Selling price. Uh, there's not much more. Uh, 